Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to save money as a student. Things are getting pretty expensive and I'm sure that these tips will be very helpful to you. The first tip is to plan your budget in using an Excel spreadsheet or any kind of spreadsheet. This will help you keep track of your expenses for the month, know when to pay your bills, what bills are due for the month, know when to pay your rent and also let you know how much you need to save for the month. The second tip is how you can save money on food. For groceries, shop at cheap supermarkets like Aldi and Lidl, especially if you want to buy fruits, vegetables and mostly any kind of groceries, they would have that. If you go to Lidl or Aldi and you want to buy a pack of spaghetti, the spaghetti that will be made by, say, a big company would definitely be more expensive. But if you go for the spaghetti made by Lidl, or Audi, then that will be way cheaper. It's literally the same spaghetti, but it's just made by a different company. Also for food, cooking at home will help you save money, especially if you're cooking double portions. Each time you cook, try to cook double portions and store one portion in the fridge. And when you go out or you go to uni, you can take one portion of that to uni and then each week you have food to take to uni. And then at uni, you could just Put in the microwave and eat that because if you're at uni and you're buying meal deals every single day if you buy a meal deal today that is fine it's not expensive but if you buy meal deals every day five days a week six days a week that is so much money that you are spending that you could be saving the next tip is how you can save money on transportation the first of that will be to walk everywhere I didn't really used to walk until I came to Glasgow and met people here who can literally walk for like an hour. That is extreme. But I've seen people in Glasgow who walk everywhere walking for like an hour. But walking in Glasgow as a student will help you save money instead of going on the bus, especially if you have time to spare. If you don't live close to uni, that's fine. You don't need to be walking because from my accommodation to the university is literally like a 40 minute walk and it's not like realistic to walk that every single day. If I have like time and um, before my lectures or I'm walking with friends, then I usually walk, but other times you can take the bus or the subway or even the train. Also to save on transport, if you live say outside of Glasgow city centre or you live in Paisley where I think you need to take the train to the West End or take the train to the city centre, then you can buy a real card. Um, I think the 16 to 25 real card is £30 for a year and is really really good because you get discounted um, real tickets and I don't think that um, you would be losing out because you might think that you will not gain your 30 pounds like for the whole year but you definitely will and you can also get the monthly tickets for the bus and the subway buying single or day tickets in the long run will be expensive you will be spending more another big tip is to utilize student discounts everywhere you go anywhere you are ask if there are student discounts i mean some obvious places there are no student discounts like primark they don't have student discounts little at least supermarkets don't have student discounts but stores like super drug boots fix bus you get discounts and um, if you have uni days or student beans those are great apps where you can see discounts from like a whole lot of like stores supermarkets and like bus companies they're really helpful download those two apps when you come to glasgow even before you come to glasgow set up your account the next tip is how to save money while you're going out so while you're out having drinks with your friends or like going clubbing that is the time that you spend so much money especially when you come to uni at first because um, in the first semester, there are loads of activities, freshers week, and there is a great chance that you end up spending so much money than you budget for. So the first tip for saving money while going out is to set a limit for how much you spend in one night. If you say, okay, after I've spent this 50, 30 pounds, then I would not buy any more drinks. I would just 
have fun, no drinks, and then head home. Another is that, for example, if you're going to the cinema maybe to watch a movie, instead of buying snacks um, at the cinema, you can buy snacks at the supermarket, which is way cheaper than what you would get at like the cinema. I know for a fact that a bottle of like Coke in the cinema is like times three the actual amount that you buy in Tesco or Sainsbury. So those are great ways to save money while you're out. The final tip is to get a part-time job, but this is dependent on your course of study and your financial situation. You don't need to work part-time if you don't need the money, but it's good to have like extra income. However, you should um, be able to balance your school and work life, which is not easy. For me, I did not work um, a lot during the first semester because that was like really intense. So I think that you would need to um, be able to balance that and that is for you to decide. But if you do get a part-time job, then that will be helpful for you to earn more money. But well, those are all the tips I have for you guys. Bye.